Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, back in July, they had a sale on these home sink, I guess that's how you say it, batteries, 12 volt, 100 amp per hour, lithium iron phosphate. And always looking for a deal, so I decided to grab four of them for my 48 volt system. So I got them and uh, did my usual testing of them, made video, and uh, was pretty disappointed with the results. And got a hold of uh, HumSeek, and they replied right away. Next day I had an answer, and I told them the results of my testing. And, of course, they come back with a generic thing, you know, you can't go by the voltage and all that. You have to have the proper stuff to test. And I says, you know, I do. <laughs> and I did. And explained to them how I tested it. And the next email I got was uh, they offered me a monetary refund or a replacement if I wanted to keep the batteries you know, one or the other. So, I thought, mm, I think I'll keep them and, and just play with them and see if I can get them, you know, back up to their full capacity or whatever. So, I made a video showing where I tested each one and the results. I tested each one three times. The first time I didn't keep track of the numbers other than I had it on a something so I could email them, but I lost that anyway. So I got the last two tests that I can show you. And I did a teardown and, and all that stuff showed the insides, which you're going to be surprised to, to see some of, I think. But I lost the video. Been looking for it for Two months <laughs> hasn't showed up so that's why I'm sort of remaking it. it's not gonna be as good as the original but at least you'll see the results I had four of them but I didn't put them in my 48 system, volt system I put two of them in my uh, picnic gazebo thing that I built uh, there's a video on that if you want to see it for yeah, I don't know, about two months I think they were in there, and they worked fine. And the other two I had in my 12-volt system, and I cycled that quite a few times too. Um, I got an inverter on that, and I can send it in to a charger to charge my other batteries. So they did work, they just don't have the full 100 amp hour capacity. So, I'm going to kind of do a remake on, on the video to show you what we got. So, kind of a long explanation, but some of you might get some good out of it. And if you have this particular one, the Max, you might want to do a capacity check on it. Because this is just my opinion. I've watched quite a few videos, and I previously bought some of these batteries and they were excellent. They actually tested above the 100 amp hours and they've been in my system working for yeah, about eight months now and they work great. So my opinion is that this company buys batches of batteries from whoever's probably got the best deal and puts their stickers on them. Don't know that for sure, just a guess. And I think this batch wasn't a good one. Because <laughs> um, some of them you see, you know, they got the metal framework in them and they're really good. And other ones you see are, you know, they're good, but they're not as good as that one. Well, this one turned out to be not great at all. So let me show you some things that I, I don't like about it and some things I do. So... 
course you get the terminal bolts and you get the, the little caps and you get a user's manual you know all that stuff just like usual but these are only six millimeter bolts not the eight like usual and the terminals are on one end of the battery which is not a bad thing as a matter of fact I kinda like it in some respects uh, for the project I'm gonna use them in it's gonna work good and I'll make another video of that so I did do a teardown and uh, the lids loose on this one so I'm gonna take it apart again and show you the the insides so I think this should just lift off yeah okay so we got a pair of I think they're number eights uh, yeah a pair of eights on the plus and the minus nice silicone crimped they were good and tight can't complain about that and you can see how it's set up there isn't you know pretty much takes up the whole case I think this is a group 24 um, battery let me look in here I had measurements and everything on my first video see if they're in the book here uh, yeah let's see many many smart okay here's the max this column right here hopefully that's focusing so it's 10.07 by 7.63 by 7.77 inches and of course the uh, standard maximum and continuous charging is 20 amps and 100 maximum continuous discharge 100 overcurrent protection 300 amps plus or <laughs> plus or minus 50 amps so you want to make sure you put a fuse or breaker on this one overcurrent charge protection 130 amps plus or minus 30 amps and it weighs 26 pounds Okay, so they do have vents here, but they are pressed right up against the, the cover. I'm going to have to zoom you out just a little, I think, so you can see. Okay, there, you can see the marks where they're right up against, so is it vented? Sort of. <laughs> and, uh, the BMS wires are held on with some of that fiber tape. These are held on with screws and they got terminals and crimped and shrunk you know so that's not terrible. And they do have the 8 millimeter bolts on the inside here. And let's see what else. Oh and it does have the cold temperature protection and it did work I put it in the freezer and tried it so let me get this out I think it's uh, I think I gotta pry some foam out of there let me get that foam out I'll turn you off for a second here Okay, I didn't have to get the foam out. I just tipped it upside down, shook it, and it came out. Of course, I had it out once, so, you know, it came out a little little easier this time. So, it's got the, uh, the fiber board on the ends. And it's held together with those, uh, almost like a shipping straps or whatever. And let's see, we do have... Some numbers here it says 2025 uh, 0305. 
And on the boxes that these were shipped in, they had numbers of each box. And these were like number eight of uh, 1,008. So they must have bought 1,008 of these. Like I say, I'm just guessing at this stuff. So if we tip this up on end, you can see the BMS is here. I think I had these off before. And that glue stuck good for the second time, didn't it? Even. There goes one of the plastic caps. All right, here's what we got for the BMS. It just says 100 amp hours, 100 amp hours, so I assume that's charge and discharge. You know, it's not, not huge. They do have uh, bolted on terminals, crimped ends, and this is just stuck on there with some goo onto this fiber board. They do have the Stuff holding the uh, connector, so that finally let loose. Okay, here you can see a little better. And they do have protection on the uh, balance wires coming in up to up to there. So now this is the part where it got interesting because. I don't know for sure, just my opinion, but I don't believe these are new cells because there is a QR code, but each one of them has a number written on them. This one says 179, uh, this one says 177, uh, that one doesn't say. And if I get get them raised up and pried back enough, I tried looking up the QR code to see, uh, but I couldn't find anything out. And uh, they are. C-A-T-L cells. You know, and they got the welded bus bars. You know, it's, it's okay welding on them. But if you turn it over, well, it does have the, the fiber board in between each cells. And they don't appear to be bulging or anything. But if you look on the bottom, They've been in something else because hopefully you're going to be able to see this. If you look in the bottom of the case, there's no no residue, no pieces left. So they, these are not new cells, and that's why the capacity test was so bad. Now. The four batteries, the test results seem to be the same. And the actual voltages on the cells seem to be pretty decent. You know, the, the balance when they were fully charged was, I would say, reasonable. But as long as I had this one apart, I did take my uh, bench power supply and I discharged it a little bit, and I think I started at like 
13.5 and I uh, bumped it up by 0.1 volt each time until the power supply went to zero. And they did go up to the fork, you know, when I got it all done, when I put the charger on it, it would go the full way up to the 14.6 before uh, things shut off. So the BMS wasn't shutting it down early. And if I let them set even for a week, they would be pretty close to 14 volts. They didn't drop down like a lot of my other ones do um, when they set for a week. So, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. You know, some things seem really good and others are not. <laughs> but anyways, this was my results from... Uh, each of the four batteries. Now this one was, and this is a second and third test actually, 83 amp hours, 1060 watt hours. Got that twice with this one. And then after uh, I used these for a couple months, I did another test and it still come out the same. Didn't get any better, didn't get any worse. Oh, and part of the, when they gave me a partial refund, before I accepted it, I asked them if the uh, warranty was still uh, in effect um, in case they got worse, and they said yes. So, I guess you can't complain about their customer service, at least on paper it sounds good. Uh, the second one was... 83 amp hours, uh, 1060 watt hours, and that one come up a little bit on the, the third time, 84.3 and 1070. The third battery was 87.8 and uh, 1120 watt hours, and this one come up just a whisker, 88.5 and 1130. And number four was the very worst one. It only come up to 80.7 amp hours, 1,020 watt hours. And uh, the third time was 81.3 and uh, 1,030. So, in essence, I guess I got an 80 amp hour battery when I put them in series. So, I know there was a lot of talking in this one, but... I thought, just in case you guys got some of these, you might want to check them out. And uh, if they're still selling this model, have any. Uh, make sure you get a good deal on it. <laughs> just my opinion now. So, I am going to use them. And I'm going to keep track of what's going on. Oh, another thing I did was, they don't have any red on the positive or anything. There's no way of telling other than these little marks that are in the top and uh, they're not very good. So I did take some red paint and, and highlighted them. So that's something if you got one you might want to do too just in case. So if you found this interesting and if any of you guys watching this have got these and have tested them, got the same results, I'd like to know. And uh, this would have been interesting if Will would have got one of these to test, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you guys watch the uh, DIY solar thing. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and can put up with my foolish videos, please subscribe. And don't forget to like it and share it and all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. See you next time.